Vivi is Brawlhalla's newest legend, wielding battle boots and blasters, and all of her SIGs were just revealed, so we're going over that today, starting with the boots and SIG. And we're starting off strong because this might be her very best SIG. It actually might be one of the best boot SIGs in the entire game. You can see it's a pretty cool animation. She's a dancer, a capoeira dancer is the lore, and it's this nice crescent moon kick above you, an aerial interrupt right there, interrupting the thatch, but it's more than that. Because if we slow down this clip with this Taros, there's something sneaky going on here. Taros is actually on the ground. Yes, this hits grounded in front of you. So not only does it have a great layer of aerial protection around you, stopping that ground pound, for example, but it also hits in front of you and grounded. And with a hitbox like this, of course you can use it in tons and tons of situations. Battle boot strings, right? Probably not out of the downlight, you can get true combos, but you can imagine if the opponent's in front of you like that, a spot dodge, they're getting knocked out. And on top of that, it also can hit forward. Depending on where you hit this crescent moon, it's kind of like the scythe there, right? It's gonna hit in different angles. So this right here, it's hitting nearly horizontal, which means it's gonna KO way, way sooner if it's towards that side of the map, right? That was the full charge right there. But let's move on to the side SIG, because this is also a very interesting SIG. At first, it just looks like a, a, a forward kick, right? A cool animation, nonetheless, but a forward kick. And then all of a sudden, you realize, wait, when this move whiffs, you're also sending out a wave on the ground. And that wave stops the moment you connect the kick, as we saw in the first clip. But that is a very, very good mechanic, and you can see even if you GC it, you still get that blast, that wave. So you can use this to edge guard for sure and put yourself at a safe distance. And then this is another clip demonstrating that the wave stops the moment that you connect the SIG. So it's not like it's gonna go through people, it's not like in 2v2, you're setting up the kick and the wave, it's one or the other. But I do want to demonstrate that this move is a little bit sneaky as well, because the wave is going, it stops, and she's free. Vivi is free to move. You can see in this clip, the dev, defensive, does not get punished there. And this is probably an even better demonstration. Look at the left side of your screen. The wave is gonna end, but Vivi is free falling before that hitbox is finished. So that move is gonna be a little bit difficult to punish. And then maybe the coolest move in her kit animation-wise, this is the Battle Boots down sig. You're doing a break dance on the ground, spinning in place. It's one of those charge sigs. It's like the uh, the chainsaw on Ulgrim, where the longer you hold the button, the longer the hitbox is gonna be out. And then you're sending the opponent behind you. So it's a reversal sig, kind of. We'll get into that later. You can see as the charge animation goes through, it actually has a bit of vertical priority right there, beating out the ground pound. So it has some kind of disjoint. We don't exactly know how good it is, yeah, but it appears to be pretty decent. Uh, and then you can see as well on the ground, it picks up quite a good distance in front of you. It's a, it's a little bit of a grapple there. You can see Taros does lurch forward at the end. So when you're watching it in real time, it's a little harder to tell. But when we slow it down here, Taros is lurching forward with the side satellite. So it's not as big of a range as you might think, or, or as that first clip might give the impression of. But it still is pretty good. Now this is something that you might not have noticed. Here it is charging, right? Charging one way. And then, uh, and then you can see, depending on which direction you're holding, you can end off in either direction. So yes, this does have active input. You can send the opponent any which way you want. And this is just a demonstration of even if you GC, you can charge it a little bit. But let's move on to the blasters because this, I like this move a lot. I don't know between this and, and the boots end sig, the blasters end sig, or the boots end sig, which is gonna be my favorite. But this is a semi-spike leap into the air with a couple blasts afterward. There's a lot going on here, but you can see just the initial flip. The charge was the first clip. You can see you're actually pointed in the opposite direction. You can also see it briefly there. But this is an example of you not even hitting the first initial leap, but then those two shots afterwards still have a hitbox. So even if you miss the first part or the opponent dodges the first part like they do there, you can still connect with the rest of it. And look at where Vivi is standing. She's standing mid stage. And then look right here. First blast, boom. Second blast, boom, on the ledge. This is a ledge guarding tool that you can leap from the center of Brawlhaven to cover that space 
with blasters. That is fantastic. And here's a clip of catching a jump with that initial hit. And you can see the second shot usually doesn't connect, or I don't even know if it ever connects if you're hitting the first leap. So in terms of damage buildup, optimally you want to hit uh, uh, the first little leap, because I imagine the last shot doesn't have nearly the amount of damage as the others. But the fact that you can cover all that space, and then you're doing this semi-mid three-quarters jump height attack, this just seems like a lot of fun, to be honest with you. Any kind of spiking sig is up my alley, personally. But you can see also from center stage, with the angle, with the damage, that's spiking from center stage. So that's uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Now let's move on to the side sig, which is probably the simplest of all of them. It's just a forward leap here as you're, <laughs> as you're running in place. That's the charge animation. Uh, and if you connect it, it does one shot at the end. So in terms of Blaster's characters, I guess you can kind of think of it like Lord Vrak's side sig or Baraza's side sig, but you only do the second shot if you connect it. And that, of course, has its pros and its cons. The pro is that you're far less likely to get punished, which is amazing. The con is you have less threat coverage horizontally, so it sort of just depends on the situation. But overall, it just seems like a pretty good move. And you're rolling on the ground, which is, you know, I, I like sleeping on the floor. Did that last night. Now we got the down sig, which is also one of the coolest animated sigs in the entire game. If we slow it down here, the amount of movements, the amount of twists, you can really see plain as day how much detail and thought went into the character animation for Vivi. And of course it has a hitbox, right? You're spinning in a circle, that's gonna deal a lot of damage if you're hitting each and every one of those shots. In terms of punishing, maybe it's not the strongest sig in the game, right? All of these long animated sigs think something like Val down sig on the sword. It's not the greatest, but if it has enough damage to make up for it, then of course it'll find its niche uses. And you can see right here, even if you're not connecting the initial part, that last blaster shot does have a good amount of range. So you're able to cover yourself or, or get some threat coverage, whatever it is. And then here's an example of interrupting a, a dare on the ground. You do have some level of disjoint with this down sig as well. Both of these down sigs uh, are kind of similar. Of course, they're on very, very different weapons, right? The dead zones and blasters. But either way, these dancing, spinning signatures are beautiful to look at. And they seem like a lot of fun, especially the boots and blasters and sigs. To close up shop super quickly, we're gonna go over her stats. The base stance, which you saw very briefly, is 6, 5, 4, 7. Defense is gonna change that to 5 defense and take away 1 from speed. Dex stance is gonna make it 6 dex but 3 defense. Strength stance is gonna take away from dex and push her up to a 7 strength character. And then finally, the speed stance is gonna make her have 5 strength but 8 speed. And there we go. I'm of course gonna play Vivi the moment she comes out. I'm guessing it's gonna be April 10th next Wednesday. That's usually how the scheduling works, but either way you can expect a gameplay commentary and all that stuff as soon as I possibly can.